Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. I'm your biology teacher and my name is Farah Anjum. Welcome to F6 online support program class 9th. This is day 1 of week 9 and we are discussing chapter number 7 bioenergetics. Dear students, in previous lectures we have covered our topic photosynthesis and the subtopics light reaction and dark reaction. Today we are going to discuss about the limiting factors in photosynthesis. When people are on low energy, body tells us that we are hungry. And we eat something to gain energy. But what plants can do when they are hungry? Basically, plants organisms use light energy to transform carbon dioxide, water, into glucose. So glucose is an organic compound and plants use as a fuel to grow and live. Dear students, there are a number of factors that can interact for the process of photosynthetic work. So there are basic three main factors that is light, carbon dioxide, concentration and temperature. And any one of these could be a limiting factor, factor that directly affect the rate of photosynthesis on its own, regardless the level of the other factors. Firstly, we are going to describe the limiting factor, that what is limiting factor? The factor that limits the reaction rate in any physiological process governed by many variables. So a limiting factor is simply anything in short supply that prevents photosynthesis occurring at its maximum rate. And if photosynthetic activity reduces it, what happens if photosynthesis occurs more slowly in plant cells, then a lower quantity of sugar will be produced and the quantity of chemical energy available for cell growth will be reduced. So limiting factor in biology refers to any of the factors. Factors are the variables, uh, physiological variables like light, temperature, carbon dioxide, and in an environment capable of limiting a process, such as growth, abundance, or distribution of population of organisms in an ecosystem. The process of photosynthesis is affected by two types of factors, namely external factors and internal factors. External factors are carbon dioxide, light, temperature, and water. And internal factors are chlorophyll content of leaves, Accumulation of byproducts, leaf anatomy, age of leaf, hormones, etc. In your book, just external factors are mentioned, so we are going to discuss the detail about these external factors. Learn the basic concept that is limiting factor and read this topic from your book. Thank you, take care, and have a nice day.